Hello everyone, as usual, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we have a chance to check a uh, fresh kit from HK Models and this is another Dorn ES335 but this time it copies a version which is actually a fighter bomber as it's written here as you can see and of course it's modded to 130 second scale so wingspan should be equal to 43 centimeters and length should be equal to the again 43 centimeters so it should be quite huge aircraft uh, on the front we have this nice box art here you can see comparison with my hand so it's not that small box it's also quite thick as you can see here and what else here we have four marking options which are available for this kit and note that they were created in cooperation with AK Interactive and a large scale modeler forum. Uh, so this is a top opening box and let's check what's inside. As you can see all sprues are packed into the separate plastic bags. I guess yes, these are easily openable bags so no problems. So let's start to check them one by one and I guess there should be plenty of these parts so it's quite interesting to see what's actually inside. Uh, first screw, I mean first plastic bag contains two plastic screws and straight away I can say that there is another one with engine parts again but let's start from the first one and the second one as far as I can see carries the same absolutely the same parts because these are designed for the engine replication as it was said before so I won't show it uh, we can check only one screw which you can see here so first we have an engine as you can see engine is divided into several parts even exhaust uh, is divided into separate let's say elements molding quality is very nice the engine itself is divided into two halves uh, two main halves so let's say also note that some piping and wiring is already molded in and inside mm, I don't see any actually there are position pins which should help you with alignment here it is uh, next we have another plastic sprue which should be also connected with engine as you can see here for example we have special struts uh, which hold the engine and again the exhaust parts and some minor parts for the fine detailing of the engine. Next we have another plastic bag. Uh, this time here we have four plastic sprues and those carry quite large parts. Actually there are even uh, five plastic sprues. Just give me a second. Okay, so first we have here uh, two similar parts. I guess this will be used for the engine cooling. Then next we have again two similar parts. Here you can guess what this should be used for. Uh, these are winding gear covers and note that they are detailed even inside. We have some fine brake lines molded in. So it's very nice for the scale. I mean 30 second scale we can demand such features to be included into the standard plastic and here as far as I can see it's a part of the fuselage the only thing we should do is to check which part I can guess that it's top part uh, here also we have the fuel tank which is divided into several parts and there are uh, position pins inside so no worries about the possible alignment problems Next we have a uh, bag with two wing parts. Here actually we have uh, two versions of the wing ends as far as you can guess. And both are molded in very nice quality. They feature uh, fine riveting on the surface. And with some careful weathering you should get really nice result. Uh, then we have transparent parts and one grey plastic part packed together and actually in my sample even though it was packed quite carefully uh, one transparent part broke off 
so I would rather recommend to check everything before the purchase. I mean it's not that serious but still it's not nice to see one part flying in the open space inside the back. Here it is. So one part is here. Then we have grey plastic parts. This one I guess should be used for the top calling. Uh, copy and next we have Canopy, which is molded as a one piece here, as you can see, and also secured with special film. So at least it won't be scratched by this part, which is also packed into the separate plastic bag. Uh, okay, let's move on. Then we have um, another plastic bag, but this time it carries only one plastic screw. Here you can see <coughs> that we have some cockpit parts and for example this dashboard and also ending gear parts. So ending gear parts as you can see features these nice wheels with weight uh, elements, I mean weighted, let's say, uh, copy of the weighted tires. Note that there are inside special position pins, nevertheless I would rather replace those plastic parts with resin alternative. And here we have quite massive uh, front landing gear uh, strut, which is molded as one piece. Nevertheless, you would have to be careful while separating it off the sprue. Next, we have uh, two plastic sprues, which are quite large, and I would say that the size of the box is actually determined by the width of the sprues. So, here we have I would zoom out the camera because uh, parts are quite big. Here we have some cooling elements also some wing mechanization parts and also the front cooling elements. I guess it's front one. Uh, then inside, note that there is fine detailization inside so it means you can open it if you want. Here we have also fine detailization. I would zoom the camera for you. Yes, now you can see it. Um, and that's pretty much all, in my opinion, for this sprue. Nevertheless, as I said, there is another one which is absolutely similar. As you can see, the same set of parts. So it should be nice to use on the model, I guess. But the sprues are really impressive with their size. Well, these were the narrow ones, and now we have also the large ones. And as you can guess, those contain the fuselage cap. Here they are. So here is one fuselage cap, and here is another one. Note that both are molded together with tail segments, and also with air intake. Uh, we have also special uh, tabs for the wings, because wings will be huge as you remember and you need some support for them. Uh, tail wings should be assembled out of uh, several halves. Here are two and here another two. So it should be at least easy to build this part. And here we have flaps which are molded, at least flaps are molded as one piece and they feature recessed panel lines and drive it in, which looks really impressive. Um, another big plastic screw is dedicated to the wing parts because those are also very huge. Just give me a second to open the plastic bag. By the way, don't be surprised by absence of the cockpit detailization inside the fuselage halves because uh, the cockpit should be assembled separately and uh, we all see the parts actually uh, on the next screws. So as I said here we have parts for the wing. I guess we can zoom out even more. Uh, again we have, you can see it on the camera even, uh, the fine riveting on the surface, recessed panel lines, all imitation of all excess hatches. Uh, as I said, um, flaps are molded separately as well as wing ends. And inside, note that there are huge position pins and also special, I would say, frame which should ensure rigidity of those parts. And note that on the top wing parts there are uh, wheel wells, 
which are molded together and of course they will benefit from some careful painting done because I mean that's a 30 second scale so you won't be lazy because everything will be visible uh, now just give me a second to open the next screw this one actually carries uh, the cockpit parts so it should be interesting to see what's actually included as a standard option in the kit. Well, here we have uh, four cockpit four. Also here we have a cockpit tub, which is even though it's quite small, but it features fine detailization on the cockpit walls. Uh, then here we have various walls for the engine bay and some other, let's say, parts of the airplane. Note that propeller. Uh, cone is molded as a one piece part and here we have propellers which are also molded as one piece parts but we have uh, attachment points on the blade edges uh, which is not that good and will require careful separation uh, also note here the front end of the air intake and here we have quite large part for the uh, bottom of the airplane as far as you can guess I mean for the floor of the airplane and the last but not the least is a plastic sprue which includes more of the landing gear parts. Those are quite impressive. Again we have uh, wheels with weight uh, effect imitation. Also here we have two landing gear struts. Uh, some minor elements as you can see very small but they are molded in excellent quality and I hope they will be easy to fit in in the model, fit on the model and here we have separate wheel hubs which should also help with assembly process because you will be able to paint them separately uh, so I hope you remember that Dornier is a, a front wheel strut uh, aircraft so you can get a tail sitting let's say model if you assemble it in a wrong way that's why manufacturer decided to include this yes these are two lead weights which should be placed in the nose as you can see they are preformed so no worries about let's say absence of the space where to fit them and this should ensure the proper extent of your assembled model next we have a um, large decal sheet I mean it's not that big it could be bigger especially in this scale Nevertheless, it should carry all necessary symbols for several marking options. Uh, it's printed in cartograph. Here it is. It features a small bit of stencils and also even the dashboard decal. And note that swastika is given as a, uh, let's say, separated symbol which you will have to go build together if you want to replicate it on your aircraft and also we have small PE thread uh, which actually copies the air intake mesh and also the seat belts uh, both parts are not pre-painted so you will have to pre let's say paint them by yourself and the last component in this kit is big assembly manual I mean the kit is big so assembly manual should be also big so it's quite a large brochure here you can see my hand on it uh, we have short history note on the front side and then straight away assembly process starts it starts with uh, pilot seat and it continues on and on and on so as I said we have several marking options but first I want to say you that there are 34 steps in total and note that the last step uh, shows that you should attach wings on the last step there is a parts map parts map is quite big and then we have marking options which are surprisingly printed in black and white and I don't know why uh, HK models decided to choose such let's say interpretation of the marking guide nevertheless we have here uh, four marking options as it was said in the beginning 
and on the last page there is a huge color guide with references given in typical ROM paint numbers, Gunzi numbers, Tamiya numbers and AK interactive paint numbers. So that's all for today. As usual you can check full review article with uh, detailed photos on our website. Of course if you like this video press the like button below because it will help us greatly and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because you will be able to get all fresh videos on time. The same applies to our Facebook page. I remind you that you can press the like button on the Facebook page and get all fresh news, images, whatever uh, faster than other. So, thank you for watching once again and see you in the next video review.